you guys may have seen our new video. Oh, man, I'm, I'm exhausted. Last night I was up till, I don't know, it was last night, the night before, till like 1 a.m. Because I found out that YouTube is fucking with the sub feed. I saw that video, yeah. It's like the final, uh, for people who didn't see the video, basically YouTube said that they're testing the sub feed to put it in a personalized order. And what that means is basically they have an algorithm that's going to decide, like, hey, which content is going to get us the most watch time, pretty right. much, you know. Elsa. What Elsa there? video. Yeah, lots of Elsa. No, mostly, most likely BuzzFeed. People and... people trying to figure out what This Is America means. <laughs> right, Just lots of those at the time. Columns and columns. Right. Um, so we made a video talking about that because the, the sub feed is like the last sacred place. Right. On YouTube. Untouched. You, got, you have the homepage, the sidebar. That's where most traffic comes from on YouTube. And you don't really know how that shit works. Like, you go to the homepage, why is something there? I don't know. Yeah. I post a video, I don't see it on the homepage. Why? Is there, like, one guy at YouTube who can who can fuck with those and just be like, mm, I'm going to show my buddy's video real quick. Let me pop that I don't up know. There. Probably yeah. not. That's probably a huge. So. Yeah. <laughs> that would be, that'd be erroneous yeah. to have that functionality just in there. Just one dude. Yeah. I think it's just the algorithm, but they're very controlling of, of, they're very intentional. It's all just about watch time. Right. But it's very cold and it's very unfeeling. Like, do we really want a platform that just doesn't care about user's choice at all and just, like, uh, you know, the god of watch time? There was a big backlash when, um, when Instagram did it, right? Exactly. People so, hated it. Exactly, because y- you want to feel like you have some choice of the content you're watching. And so, anyway, YouTube responded to the video we made. They said... This is a very small experiment. We're testing a new, completely optional way to sort this sub feeds with a small group of people. All videos are still there, and again, people have control over the settings. AKA, they don't have to use it. But, <clears throat> here's what I'll say to that, which is, I think, total BS. Mm. The default setting is personalized. You have to go out of your way to change it back to chronological. I mean, they really just do that so that they say that it's optional, but how many people are actually going to go... Yeah. And switch it. If it's so. if it's optional, then if everybody's saying they want it the other way, how long until you just force them to have it the new way? Exactly. And that that's basically what I'm saying here is that, like, it starts there. It's a slippery slope. Once you've decided that you're willing to fuck with the sub feed, yeah. it's only a matter of time. Like, it, this guy, Ben Trusted Flagger, he's, he's like, I don't know. This guy has a lot of inside information. He always has a lot of interesting insights on YouTube. He he's, works. He's trusted. He's trusted. He does actually work with them to some large capacity. He said they've been working on this for a very long time behind the scenes, and I'm scared if it will be implemented permanently. Even though you can opt out, I was told if rolled out, everyone would be opted in by default. Negative impact on everyone. Don't do this, YouTube. And it's like you said on on uh, on Facebook, they had um, it used to be chronological. Yeah. And the moment that they optimize the feed on Facebook and they're doing the same thing on Instagram is when those social medias became such fucking garbage. Right. Because you're on the platform and you feel, you feel the pull. Like they're just trying to keep you there as long as possible. I, every time I go to Facebook, for some fucking reason, Facebook is like, hey, you, you love Martin Lawrence's posts, right? Mm-hmm. Martin Lawrence, the actor. Mm-hmm. He has this fucking if everybody should go check out Martin Lawrence's Facebook because it's insane. Really? He's killing it. It's like he's like so flow Antonio in the way that he's just like Does posting he these Martin he's like, and Lawrence. Yeah, what it's like to have a Cuban girlfriend. Martin is like, wow, this is crazy. Like what <laughs> what is <laughs> really? Martin doing all day? Huh. Martin Martin found a new vertical. <laughs> um so basically Martin Lawrence is gonna be at the top of all of our feeds, but yeah on Facebook, they changed it to optimized several years ago, and they made it optional. Until one day, they're like, hey, you know what? This results in more watch time and more ad revenue, so we're just going to remove the option. Right. They act like that's not what's going to happen. That's definitely what is going to happen. It is kind of silly the way all these companies talk to us about changes that we don't like, and they're like, no, don't worry, guys. You're going to have an option. You don't you, could, you don't understand. Behind the scenes, they're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Do you think we're going to change anything for them? Yeah. No. This is money. <sighs> I mean, I, I wonder if in a way they're that naive that they're like, it's optional. How does it, how does it benefit them? Like what more is the... More watch time, more ad revenue. Really? They keep you on the page longer. They don't, the, yeah. the objective of all these social medias is to keep you on the page as long as oh, they fucking can. Oh yeah, that makes sense. They just suck your ass in, keep you watching, and right. give you more ads. If it's so, chronological, 
Like when I go to Reddit and I see all of the links on the front page are purple, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, well, I did that, and mm-hmm. then I leave. Right. I mean, I don't leave. I go to the next page. Right. But if it wasn't chronological like sure. that, it would be like, he's already clicked all the purple links. Let's it's... give him a new batch. Right. Keep and him the- on the page. Theoretically, it, that doesn't sound bad, but what ends up happening is that, Jesus Christ, that real Croy got me. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. <laughs> um, what ends up happening <laughs> in these things. is that the sub feed is just going to end up like the homepage, where right. it's like, uh, based on other users' activity, we've determined that this video results in more watch time and more time on page. So we're going to put that at the top of your sub feed and not this small creator that you're a fan of or anybody. It could be, mm-hmm. it could be me, it could be you, it could be PewDiePie. This video didn't get as much watch time, so we're going to put it at the bottom. Yeah, That's how they rate it. Weird, man. I mean, I'd love to get into their heads and figure out what the hell their their ultimate plan is because this feels like part of something else. Yeah. Well, the the scary part that I talked about is just like once they tinker with the sub feed, they now have the ability to completely make your channel disappear. Yeah. Because as a creator, it's so frustrating when you go to the home page and you don't see your new video. Yeah. It's like, why isn't it there? I don't know. I guess there's a reason, whatever. And you don't see it on the sidebar of, of other people's videos sometimes. You know what I mean? It's people also saying, like, I got unsubscribed from you. Right. Like, there's some strange right. errors going on yeah. to keep people from watching things. But I don't know. We, we should get jobs at YouTube. Yeah. Like, we should, we should go in disguise, right. like, interview for jobs and get the, get the inside dirt. Just a comedy mustache. Yeah. Trusted Ben? You want to help us out? Right. Yeah. Trust, trustworthy Ben? I, I do joke. I'm very qualified to work at YouTube once our channel dies. I'm going to be a fucking top. <laughs> They're going to make me say a oath to the god of watch time. Oh, Shredder will probably get the job for sure. So Bring I don't know. In. They responded, but I just, I just think they're so naive. They're like, they don't understand why we're so upset because it's optional. Yeah. That's got to be a tough fucking job being the PR guy or PR person at YouTube. It's like, yeah, hey, um, half of the population of, of the country is mad at you. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, shit. What do I do? Their PR department sucks, dude. <laughs> they don't say anything. What is, what is the PR person's job at YouTube? Yeah. Oh, their I job would is this. definitely it, tread lightly on, on if I was that guy. I'd be like, oh, okay, how he, do I say he nothing? He treads too lightly. Yeah. He doesn't say shit. Right. He's like, all right, we had a meeting, and we've decided... We're not going to say anything. <laughs> do you think they have meetings liability. like when when they have to respond to you? Yes, you think, I'm sure that like they there's do. a couple. There's like a huddle. I'm like I'm certain that guys. They Ethan's do. blasting us. <laughs> yeah. What do we say? Yeah, I'm sure that they do. I'm not kidding. They do actually. They just tell you to go fuck yourself. The PR person's like, all right, guys, we've thought a lot about this, and we've decided to say nothing. Yeah, this will not get us in trouble. Yeah. There's no way they're going to talk about this. You know what the sad this. thing is? It's probably true. That's probably the best course of action. Yeah. Say nothing. Just say say nothing. Yeah. We'll get them later. 